If traveling through the Empire Strikes Back has taught me one thing, it's that I love snowy environments. And on that note, Chapter 2, Escape from Echo Base. Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Chapter 2, Escape from Echo Base. Imperial forces have mounted a relentless assault on the rebel base on Hoth. The rebel fighters have held out bravely, but the enemy is overwhelming. In the Echo Base command center, carved deep into the ice of the frozen planet, Han Solo and Princess Leia monitored the evacuation of rebel personnel. But as stormtroopers breached the outer defenses, they must quickly find an escape route for themselves. Oh dear, the enemy's assault is ferocious, and they're enjoying it tremendously. Hmm, what shall we blow up next? Hmm, that rebel base looks like an easy target. And even amidst destruction, a romance seems to be blossoming. Come on, Leia, we've got to get out of here. So we take control of uh, Han and Leia here in uh, Echo Base. And uh, this level is pretty straightforward. You have to get to the Millennium Falcon. And obviously, we've got to collect as many studs as we can along the way. Starting things off, we're going to build this charge, which gives us a blue stud, and kills Leia, apparently. That's not cool. I like Leia. She was one of the uh, earliest uh, influences on uh, several female friends of mine. And that's understandable, because Leia is cool. And I'm not saying that just because we're in an icy base. I really do like Leia. She's easily one of my favorite female uh, film characters ever. Because she doesn't take crap from anyone. Alright, let's head through, and we are inside a cafeteria? Well, um... I guess you can't fight Imperial forces on an empty stomach. I mean, I can perfectly understand why they'd have a coffee machine here on the cold uh, Echo Base. I mean, what's better than having a nice warm drink amidst the freezing ice walls and floor of a rebel base? But we'll worry about that later. Uh, right now we need to move this heater over to the switch and that will melt the ice covering the door. Very nice. Eventually, yeah, there we go. And this is kind of the uh, overarching layout of this level. You enter a room, you enter a hallway, then you enter another room. And speaking of which, snow troopers. Yes, as you can imagine, snow troopers are stormtroopers that work in icy environments. Now we're going to build this turret right here, which will give us some studs, but we're not going to use it just yet, because there are a few extra things that we can collect while we're here. In fact, we have to, we have no choice but to do it, because someone is waiting for us behind one of these doors. Alright, so uh, we're here in this room, and we have a sort of dolly that needs assembling. So let's go ahead and assemble it, and collect all of the studs that uh, come out. And uh, you'll want to climb up on the dolly so you can uh, get to the uh, upper ledges of the room. Now, despite this being an icy environment, I really don't uh, find that there is any ice physics here. Ooh, and I also forgot, the upper ledges are double score zones. And yes, indeed, we can collect that mini kit piece. Most excellent. But yeah, you don't have to deal with ice physics very much in this level. So what you want to do is you want to uh, push the turnstile so the junction is switched. And that way, the dolly will run all the way down to the other side and eventually explode, opening the path to our good buddy C-3PO. Which is good, because I like C-3PO. And I'm dealing with lag. Hooray! Well, that really can't be helped, unfortunately. 
So now we've got C-3PO with us, and we can blow up a few more of these things. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about these four switches as we need to blow up these shiny objects, a task that is currently impossible without a bounty hunter. All right. So with C-3PO in tow, we are ready to hop in the turret, but be careful because the moment you do, you'll get ambushed by some snow troopers. So the pattern is chip away at the bear arcade and uh, then deal with any stormtroopers that you, uh, or snow troopers or whatever they are that might come your way. All right, 3PO, be a good protocol droid and open the door for us. Thank you very much. All right, here we have a really big room and there's a lot for us to do in here, including some stormtroopers that we have to eliminate. It's been a while since we've used Leia. I uh, like using Leia because as I said, ooh, ooh, power up sphere, power up sphere. Ooh, me like shinies, me like shinies. You'll definitely want to take out all of the stormtroopers before you do anything. And uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, build the turrets once again. Die, 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 die. Technically, you're a barricade and you can't die, but I don't care. Whoa! More snow troopers ambushing us. Just what I wanted. I love being ambushed by the enemy, and I also love being blown up. Did I mention that? Uh, this level is pretty long, so you do have, uh... You do have plenty of chances to get some studs for true Jedi status. Uh, let's go ahead and build this panel, which will need C-3PO's help to open. But as you can see, he can't jump up. Uh, might as well build this turret for a few, e a little bit of extra cash, which is always nice. Here we go, here we go. Collect all the studs, collect all the shinies, everything is good. Now here we have some batteries that we can uh, push into these slots. And uh, once we do that, we can activate this fan right here. As for what purpose that fan holds, well, uh, you'll find out eventually. Or should I say momentarily, because we're going to find out about it rather soon. Now that fan is uh, actually for C-3PO, and that can only be accessed by R2. I just want to check and make sure that I didn't miss any studs. Now, you technically only need to activate one fan, but I'm activating both of them for the sake of getting some more studs. All right, let's go ahead and move this battery down, plug it in, and collect even more studs. Yes, much like the president in Pikmin 2, I am obsessed with treasure. And here we have a snowmobile of some sorts. Uh, Leia, why don't you do the honors? So we need to jump into the snowmobile, and once you do that, 3PO will uh, jump into the fan. And now he is on top of the snowmobile. So drive over to the other side and uh, flip the top of it to uh, get him onto the higher ground. And that is it. That is how you get past this room. Kind of an interesting little puzzle right there, I must say. Okay, now watch out for these white panels because they are booby-trapped. You do not want to fall down them and then die. Dying is something you do not want to do. And you also don't want to get caught in the blast of the charges. All right, now here's a bit of an interesting room. Uh, you'll want to go all the way around here, collecting any studs you might come across. Unfortunately, that blue stud is out of our reach. But as you can see, there are four buttons here. And your objective, as you can probably guess, is uh, to hit all of them. Once that is done, the door will open. And uh, do your best to collect all of the uh, blue studs as well. 
but I'm going to focus on that switch and then that one. Yes, the door is open. Now I'm going to uh, go back up and down again two more times in order to collect those four blue studs. If they were silver or gold, then I would say pass on them. But since blue studs are worth a thousand, it's too good to pass up. Also, try not to fall off the slide, as uh, that would be bad. Alright, one more go around should do the trick. I wonder what would happen if C-3PO goes down the slide. I'm actually very curious about that right now. Yes, C-3PO, this is the fastest you've ever moved, and you're going to move even faster now that you've fallen to oblivion. There we go. See, even C-3PO can move very quickly under certain circumstances. All right, more boxes to destroy in this room and more switches to press down. So let's go ahead and uh, push this battery all the way to the other side. And let's go ahead and push this down and also collect some more studs and if you listen really closely you can see Wo you can hear Wookiees getting murdered yeah I don't know if you can uh, hear that but it means that we're going to be encountering another one of our friends all right let's step on the switch Han come on there we go. But before we go through that door, let's open this one with C-3PO. Oh, looks like I forgot a few boxes that need destroying. Ooh, and a blue stud. I must collect all shiny objects. I don't care if that's an overused meme, I'm using it anyway. And in here, we have yet another double score zone. Shame we can't access all of it without a bounty hunter. But for what it's worth, I'll take any place that's a double score zone, especially if it gets me to true Jedi status! Yay! How amazing is that? Die! And get blown up! Alright. That is crackling with Sith energy, so that is a no-go. Gonna travel through here and hey Chewbacca! How's it going? Let us give you a hand by slapping every single snow trooper in sight. A couple more uh, boxes that need blowing up, which is always... Okay, apparently this one can't be blown up. Congratulations, unidentified box. You have the first distinction of being unblow upable. I don't care if that's not a word, I'm using it anyway. All right, we've got a few more turrets uh, mounted by stormtroopers. Case in point, I get blown up. There we go. And let's kill you. Thank you very much. All right. So as you can see, the Millennium Falcon is on the other side of this shield. We need to get by it somehow. Uh, for starters, we're going to get this power-up sphere, because power-up spheres are awesome. Pull down on both of these levers, and behind the closed doors is are some batteries. All right, push them all the way back here, and on to their respective slots. You know, in retrospect, I probably should have picked up that power-up sphere while the snowtroopers were here. Oh well, doesn't matter anyway. Okay, and now let's get the other one. La -da -da, da -da -da -da, pushing batteries. I love manual labor even though I am a princess. Okay, let's go ahead and push this battery right here. And there we go. Excellent. And this door contains some tauntauns that we can ride. So, uh, there's nothing really interesting about riding tauntauns, except that when you jump off of them, you go extra high. So, with both doors unlocked, let's go ahead and construct both of these turrets, after we collect all the studs, of course. And I wonder how long it's going to be before we break the two million mark. Alright, there we go again. 
Let's go ahead and collect all of these little studs. And blast the shield generators. Blast every shield generator in sight. Unfortunately, some of the studs will uh, magically pass through the shield, which is going to suck. And, of course, we're going to get ambushed by snow troopers. No match for the might of Han Solo, though. So let's blast the other generator, and there we have it! Very nice. Now we could go ahead and uh, construct the rest of the Millennium Falcon, but I'd rather fight off some snow troopers. That's right, I love getting ambushed by Imperial mooks. All right, let's jump on the Tauntaun, go over to the Millennium Falcon, and climb and jump up to not only collect some studs, but to assemble the gun of the Millennium Falcon. Excellent. And once that is done, we need to open the door. And that is going to be it for this level. Of course, the snow troopers are insulted by this, so they will blow me up. Die, 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 die. Thank you very much. And in we go. Uh-oh, looks like the Falcon is malfunctioning a little bit. Come on, guys. Oh, oh, wow! That was awkward. Nice going, Leia. Unfortunately for Vader, he has failed to capture the Falcon. But much to Luke's uh, relief, his friends have escaped. Meanwhile, Luke has other business he needs to attend to, but we can talk about that later. For now, we have completed the level, and we have unlocked Han Solo Hoth, Princess Leia Hoth. Once again, 100% on True Jedi status. Excellent, most excellent indeed. And we have surpassed the one and a half million mark. Most amazing. And that is it. Two more gold bricks. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So next time on Let's Play LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, we are going to see what Luke is going to be up to. See you guys next time.